Part 2 of the .264 124 grain hammer hunter bullets that one of my subscribers sent to me and how that test went. Mar. Um, weight retention on that low velocity load was 123.2, so minimal loss, but there was some. And then my high velocity load still in the Joe block here. My very first shot with a low velocity load hit the gel block at um, roughly 1300 feet per second and tumbled. Obviously didn't mushroom at all. I can show you that good here. I will uh, cut these blocks apart too towards the end of the video. But you can see where it tumbled, twisted, started to tumble again and came out the side of the block. So I shot one load a little hotter and comes in here and I dug it out what would be the bottom of the gel block now right there so you have that bullet starting to really open up at almost the three inch mark carrying that really good permanent wound cavity from the three and a quarter inch mark to the 11 inch mark where it tapers way down and then you have it pin lining to its leading edge at 20 and a half inches. So, and that one was traveling just barely over 1700 feet per second. So keeping these at uh, a good 1800 feet per second or faster and they're definitely going to perform just fine. Then we have our high velocity load that impacted at over 2800 feet per second. And it started opening up not quite immediately but you're about three quarters of an inch in. Then you get that explosive portion of the wound channel and it starts shedding its petals. The last petal I see shed at roughly 20 inches, and the leading edge of that bullet is 27 and 5 eighths. You have little bits of petals at the seven and a half inch mark. You guys can see three bigger chunks. And there's one that actually exited the back of the block here. Uh, those are all roughly 10 and 3 eighths. Then you got a few more little chunks at 13. And then the, the chunk just roughly 20 and the one at roughly 19 and a quarter. So honestly, I like seeing that because you have more than enough penetration to... Um, Odds are you're going to have an exit hole, going to be bleeding good, but we dumped energy, especially right here, in most animals that you're going to hunt in uh, the Midwest or even in the United States. That is dumping its energy in the chest cavity where you want it to. So I am really liking that performance on the lower velocity load you still have it dumping what would be within the chest cavity I'd like to see it carry a little bit more but overall uh, very happy with that performance on that low velocity load in the larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is going to be two and five eighths on that high velocity load you're looking at Five and a half, and because I hit a little high of center, we'll measure it this other direction too. And you are going to be five and an eighth. So overall, very pleased with these. You can see how that just kind of opened up there. Then your chunks veered off. Just doing a, a beautiful job all the way around. Let me go grab a knife real quick since my flay knife's not here. And we'll 
go ahead and pull this guy out. We'll get a weight on that. And the weight retention on that is 67.5. And one thing I notice here and I like on these bullets, grab a new one here, the ribs for relief, but your high spots are nice. I have some copper bullets, especially a batch of the LRXs from Barnes where you could see the whole bullet black because it wasn't sealing and I was getting low velocities and it was pushing those gases up past the bullet scorching it. You don't have that here with either one of these. So those bullets are definitely seating on that rifling good, keeping a good seal behind them. I'm gonna help get you good velocities there. Let's go ahead and cut on these blocks a little bit. I'll cut right in the middle of where this one tumbled first. And just show you, you do much of this, it is pretty obvious when a bullet tumbles, big long tear. When a bullet actually mushrooms, multiple little tears. So if you're doing any testing of your own and you're not sure because on that side profile that actually looks like good permanent wound cavity, now your bullet just tumbled. A tumbling bullet is lethal and will drop game, but is absolutely not preferred. We'll get a little better look at it down here further where it uh, is still rotating, but then you got your multiple tears of that uh, one that actually mushroomed. Just working down that block, you can see it more and more. And let's go ahead, since I'm whacking on blocks, we're just gonna cut a few chunks in the good portion of permanent wound cavity on high velocity load. And Show what it did. Definitely for a copper bullet, it is really hard to get better performance than that right there. I'm, I'm quite impressed with those. So hope you guys enjoy this video. These bullets were sent to me by one of my subscribers and um, Still, if you get a chance, go check out submoashooting.com. They sell sample packs with the different bullets. Uh, might help save you some money in load development. So go check them out. Hope you guys enjoy this video.